Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. This is a quick look at the new features in SyncroArt's Revoice Pro 4. If you want to see other articles on Revoice Pro 4, please click on the link. So first of all, let's have a quick listen to the tracks that we're going to be processing with Revoice Pro. We're waiting for love. Okay, as you can hear, we already have a good vocal performance, but there's some things we can really improve with Revoice Pro. So let's get the audio out of Studio One and into Revoice Pro. Now, the great thing about Revoice Pro 4 and Studio One 4 is that we can now use the ARA2 function. To do this, we go to our effects, choose Revoice Pro Link, and we're going to hold down our Option or our Alt key, and I'm going to drag it on to the event that I want to transfer into Revoice Pro. Okay, we get this dialog box up here, and I can now choose what track to put on in Revoice Pro. So if I choose Audio 1, now let's go back to Revoice Pro, and as you can see, that's instantly been transferred into Revoice Pro. Right, let's do the same with the other tracks. So hold down the Option key, drag on the second track, and let's choose Audio 2. And as you can see, it's now in Revoice Pro. And lastly, let's do that third vocal as well. And let's choose Audio 3. Okay, first of all, let's tune the lead vocal. Now to do this, we right click on the region and we choose Make Warp Region. Okay, let's zoom into this track here. Now what we can do, we can either tune individual notes and we can also highlight a bunch of notes and use the correct pitch tool down here. So let me just tune up a few different bits. Okay, now we've tuned the vocal, we can also de-S the vocal. So if I push the S key on my keyboard, it brings up this new panel, and now we can change the level of the S's on our vocal. Let's have a listen. That's what we want. So as you can see, there's one there. Let's bring that one down. We're waiting for love. We're waiting for love. Send us our... And we've got two there. Bring that one down. And this one down as well. Send a sign from up above, we wait for love. I should also add that any of the editing that we are doing to the vocals in Revoice Pro is now automatically being transferred back to Studio One because we're using the new ARA2 function. Now we're going to align the time and the pitch of the lead vocal and the double track vocal. So let's have a quick listen before we do that. We wait for love, we wait for love. Send a sign from up above, we we'll wait for love, give us what we want, we're all waiting for love. So what I'm going to do is to use an APT for this. I'm going to choose selected audio, my guide vocal is the lead vox, and my double track is this dub here. And I'm going to choose the output fixed. Right, let's go into a preset and let's choose a vocal slightly loose time and pitch. I'm going to choose new process. And now let's listen to the fixed double track with the lead vocal. We're waiting for love, we're waiting for love. Send a sign from up above, we're waiting for love. Give us what we want, we're all waiting for love. So as you can hear, Revoice Pro has taken the performance and the tuning of the lead vocal and it's applied it to the double track vocal. So again, any editing that we're doing to the vocals in Revoice Pro, it's now automatically being transferred back to Studio One because of the new ARA2 function. Even though we've aligned the double vocal with the lead vocal, we can improve it even more. And that's because in Revoice Pro, there's a new music mode, and this allows you to tune the vocals accurately but maintain the individuality of the original performances. So if I zoom in on the fixed double track vocal, you can see and hear the difference in the smoothness of the vibrato. For love, we're waiting for love. And here is with the original dialogue mode. We're waiting for love, we're waiting for love. And here is with the new improved music mode. We're waiting for love, we're waiting for love. I'm going to use a different piece of audio to demonstrate another new feature which is in Revoice Pro, and that's called Vibrato Warp. I'm going to add a Vibrato Warp start and end point and then drag out the length of the vocal. Watch how the vibrato is retained, even though we stretch the note. So let's have a listen. And no one else. Let's go back to the other song. And I'm going to time align the high octave backing vocal, the same as I did to the double vocal. 
there's no need for me to do any transferring back into Studio One as we're using ARA2. So let's go back into Studio One and play the fixed vocals. We're waiting for love, we're waiting for love. Send a sign from up above. We're waiting for love, give us what we want. We're all waiting for if you want to hear my opinion on Revoice Pro 4, please click on the link in the text below and that will take you to the article on the Production Expert website. I'm Paul from Production Expert, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.